Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn how to solve partial differential equations. There are so many ways of solving partial differential equations, but in this example, we are going to use the multipliers method. Solve the following partial differential equation using the multipliers method. So this is our PDE and we are going to apply the multipliers method to get its solution. Now, the first thing not to do is to express our equation in auxiliary form. So we have dx over p is equals to dy over q is equals to dz over r. So this is called auxiliary form. Auxiliary form. Auxiliary form of an equation. So we are going to, ex to express our equation in this auxiliary form. So remember partial z or partial x is p and partial z of partial y is q. Then this is our r. Now dx over p which is mz minus ny is equals to dz over q which is uh, nx minus lz is equals to dz over r which is ly minus mx. So this is the auxiliary form of our equation. Now next step we choose pairs of multipliers. So we have the first and the second pairs. Now we choose a, a set of multipliers such that when we multiply with the denominator and add, it gives us zero. So we can choose our first set of multipliers to be x, y, and z. So first set of multipliers to be x, y, and z. So we multiply this set of multipliers with our auxiliary form of equation. So we'll have x dx plus y dy plus z dz over so x times this part gives us uh, so you can say x into brackets mz minus ny then plus y times this part y into brackets nx minus lz then plus z times this part ly minus n minus mx now so we have x dx plus y dy plus z dz over we open bracket we will have uh, mx z minus x times ny is nxy then plus y times nx is nxy then minus y times lz is lyz plus z times ly is lyz minus z times mx is mxz. Now when we add this denominator to give us zero, of course, mxz and mxz cancels. nxy, nxy gives us zero when we add. Then l negative lyz and positive lyz gives us zero. So we have x dx plus y dy 
plus z dz over 0, which is the same as x dx plus y dy plus z dz is equal to 0. Now, next thing, we integrate this equation. So integrate this gives us x squared uh, plus y squared plus z squared is equals to c1. So this is our first solution, which is v is equal to c1. So this is our first solution using the first set of multipliers. Now, we choose the second set of multipliers such that the denominator will give us 0. So, second set of multipliers we can use the constants we have L, N, and M. So, you can say our second set of multipliers is L m and n so you multiply l m and n both in the numerator and the denominator using this auxiliary form of our equation so l times dx we have, we have l dx plus m times dy we have m dy then n times dz will have plus n dz over again you multiply this uh, multipliers with the denominator so you have l times mz minus ny then plus m into brackets nx minus lz plus n into brackets ly minus mx so we have l dy i mean l dx plus m dy plus n dz over we open this will give us l times mz is mlz minus l times ny is l n l y plus m times n x is m n x minus m times negative l z gives us m l z then plus n times l y is n l y then n times negative m x gives us negative m and x now when you add the denominator will give us zero so mlz minus mlz gives us zero negative l n l y and positive n l y cancels out gives us zero then m and x minus so the denominator gives us zero so we'll have L dx plus M dy plus N dz over 0. So L dx plus M dy plus N dz equals to 0. So we integrate this equation. So this L is a constant, M is a constant, and N is a constant. So when we integrate, we'll have LX plus, when we integrate MDY, we'll have MX plus, when we integrate, I mean, we'll have MY, then plus, when we integrate N dz, you get NZ is equal to C2. So this is our second solution. You can call it U is equal to C2.
now since you have these two solutions you have x squared plus y squared plus z squared is equals to c1 and you have lx plus my plus nz is equals to c2 we can now form our general solution so our general solution is given by A function of u and v is equals to 0 or u is equals to phi v. So we can write these two solutions as general solution using this or the other one. So we can have a function of our u is lx plus my plus nz and our v is x squared plus y squared plus z squared it is our solution or we can write lx plus my plus nz is equals to phi x squared plus y squared plus z squared